Okay. Hey, today I'm doing a video on the Vector Smart Kill Electronic Rat Trap with Wi-Fi, right? Why do you need Wi-Fi on this trap? Well, it sends you an alert to your phone to let you know, hey, something went inside your trap and it's deceased. You need to go check on it immediately before it starts stinking. Um, we've all been there, you know? We have other things going on in our head. You might set a live trap somewhere to catch your rodents and you forget about it until you start smelling that unsavory aroma. Or this trap might be somewhere where you can't get to it. It's not that easy. Um, you don't wanna go up there all the time and so forth, especially attic spaces, that type of thing. So um, I watched a bunch of videos. Uh, there are some out there on the Vector Smart Kill Electronic uh, Traps. They make different sizes, different options. I didn't see too many videos on this particular model. Um, and I wanted to go with something that was big. I don't know if I'm dealing with mice, rats, squirrels, you name it. So um, I purchased this trap over a year ago. I used it one time. I used it for about four hours, believe it or not. I got it, took it out of the box, put some batteries in it, baited it put it in this uh, area where I know this one little rat keeps on traveling back and forth. I've actually seen it. So um, after four hours, believe it or not, I got one, right? Didn't have the problem anymore. Took the batteries out, put it back in the box, and then I just brought it out yesterday because I have another problem. It's um, above my master bedroom, believe it or not, even above my bed, I can hear a rodent or rodents um, traveling back and forth in the ceiling. So I went out and got this out of the box. I had to get new batteries. I forgot all about how to program it in my phone and so forth. I had to get myself a little bit more acclimated to it again because I didn't get to use it that uh, long the first time. Um, I set it up last night and believe it or not this morning, yes, a notification came in and said, hey, check your trap. You have a rodent. So I felt, hey, you know, I should do a video on this. Um, I've watched others, like I mentioned. I don't know if there's too many on this particular model. This one is a taller version, okay? And I'll go into that a bit more here soon on why I purchased this. And Vector does offer different options with their uh, electronic traps. So I'll do the best I can on this particular one. Um, again, there's other videos out there, uh, but I've seen people do unboxings. You know, they show you all the functions and whatnot but they never show you or tell you if it even worked for them. You know, they've never actually tried it. So I've killed two. I got to get more. So stay tuned. I'll go into it a bit okay. more. Okay, here's the box, right? I guess, uh, you know, the box is not that important, but it comes in a nice box. The, uh, the reason why I wanted to show you this was this model. I guess it's called the Model M2, right? So I've mentioned that Victor keep on saying vector victor makes different sizes different options of uh you know electronic traps so i'm going to do my best on this particular one and tell you why i think this is the one to purchase but let's just go over some stats that i didn't see in other videos okay this thing is i mean this thing is solid it's heavy i mean i think i hate to say it but if a rodent got in there that's large started flipping out a bit I mean, it has the integrity where, you know, the trap itself is not going to fall over or actually, I guess, uh, a rodent won't take the trap. I've seen that in a lot of other videos, maybe not on electronic traps like this, but, you know, they'll do anything to get away. But as in for height, you know, you're talking almost over four and a half inches. Lengthwise, you know, you're looking at about 11. I think the biggest thing is the opening. Okay, the opening was important to me because I don't know what kind of rodent I'm dealing with. So I wanted something big, right? And I believe this is maybe one of the largest ones that they per that they make that you can purchase. Um, the opening width wise is three and a half. As in for the height wise, it's about four with a little lip, bit of a lip, okay? So as you can see down, it's hard to see, but I'll show you what it looks like. You know, they travel inside, they go all the way to the very back where the bait station is. They get to this certain channel and it activates the, um, 
you know, the electrodes, okay? So to open this, you just slide it, which that's another reason why I purchased this, the ease of just dumping the dead carcass out. You know, you just need to do that. You can see where the little flanges are to secure it. And then you can see kind of the electro pads. There's one, two, and three. I don't know how everything works. You can see that, you know, this is channeled just on one side. But I think once they get to this point where the bait cup is, that's where the action happens, okay? The bait cup itself is this little opening, this little door. And believe it or not, that is Snickers with a little bit of microwave bacon. I figured I would go with the um, candy, the chocolate, and uh, the meat combination. So you can jam that in there. They have the holes so the aroma can get out and they can't get to the bait unless they go inside, right? So then, um, make sure I'm putting this on right. Pretty easy, Just snaps back in, All right? So this is the overall look, All right? Batteries go in here. It does take four C batteries, okay? And you're like, why C batteries? Well, you probably need the, you know, all the battery juice you can to uh, do the job itself. So there's the power button and then the Wi-Fi connection, okay? I'm not gonna do the Wi-Fi connection. To be honest with you, it was kind of a pain in the butt. Um, it did come with some uh, directions inside. It was very hard to follow. I actually watched some other videos. One video from Victor that actually, it, it was junk. Um, there's another video on just how to program your cell phone, link it to your um, trap. That worked out for me. So please, you know, check that out. Maybe you're better than me. Uh, with directions right out of the box. I'm not for sure. So again, comes in, goes all the way down, donezy, right? So I will show some photos after this um, video on uh, actually uh, the dead rodent that I caught last night. So um, Price-wise, I think these range anywhere between $50 to $70, okay? Again, they make different models, but I thought to myself, hey, look, um, you're going to hopefully take this attempt to cure your rodent problem. If not, you're talking, you know, hundreds of dollars with, the, you know, the conventional pest exterminator, this and that. I'd rather go this route first to see if I could, uh, you know, take care of my issue and then have it when I need it again. Again, when I purchased this was a year ago, used it one time, used it last night, two rats. After this video, I'm gonna check the bait cup. I think it's ready to go, but I'm gonna set it in the same area, which I'll uh, have a photo of. And um, yeah, keep on using this thing. So if you are having a you know, rodent issue, um, I would highly recommend purchasing this one, especially even with the Wi-Fi. I know it sounds gimmicky, but I'm telling you what, um, I'll show another picture of the notification that you get from the app on your phone when it happens. Um, I think that's important because um, you just don't want something dead and stinking and you forget about it or you go up there a month later. I've talked to actually a couple of my neighbors, asked them if they've had problems with rodents in their attics and so forth. I've had stories where one guy did. Um, he had a trap, totally forgot about it. He went up and the rat bled through and caused a bunch of like just whatever. So, um, oh, another thing I've, like I said, I've killed two with this. Let's see if I can take this out doing this here through the camera. I haven't really even cleaned it. There's no blood, okay? It's, I mean, all you do is just dump them out into a bag and throw them away. So I like it. It's. I think it's more humane. I think it gets the job done quicker. There have been other traps that, you know, work crushing the neck and so forth, but then, you know, you're watching the the photos or videos of this and they're, it, they look like they're in pain. So again, I think it's worth the price. If you have the issue, just try it uh, before calling an exterminator. I think you'll be, I think you'll be happy. Thanks for watching.